Hello everybody. Today we're going to see how I draw Bendy. Okay, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch just to make sure I got everything in the right pose and to uh, make sure it all fits on the page too. Um, I know you probably can't see this, it's probably too light for you, but that's okay, because this is more for me. And then I'll switch over to uh, a Sharpie in a second, and you should be able to see much better. And uh, I'm trying to think of some good, fun poses here. Um... I'm gonna give them squiggly arms like the uh, like the uh, waving things you see out in the road. You know what I mean? The things that do like that with the air. I'm kind of kind of playing around with that idea, you know? Uh, okay, so let's see. Do that. This one should be pretty fast for us because. Uh, uh, a lot of it's taken care of with color, um, but uh, uh, maybe I'll add a little detail with a pen. We'll see. Okay. All right, I think that's good enough for now, because uh, the eyes are just going to be like that, so there's not too much i got to worry about. Uh, everything else we'll do with Sharpies, and you're welcome to continue with a pencil, or use a Sharpie too. Um, I'm going to switch over now and uh, get started. So I don't think there's much i got to do with this, this sharp Sharpie. Uh, I, I will. You know what? There's some stitching I'll add with a sharp Sharpie. But for now, I'm going to work with just uh, the big fat Sharpie, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and make his head, which is pretty much a big uh, rectangle. A little bit of a curve down here. And then... Uh, there's like that, okay? And I think, you know what, his hair, I'm going to uh, do with a sharp Sharpie. Let's do that real quick. Just something fun, just something a little a little wacky, right? So I'm gonna kinda do like this, because I want it going under the other one. So it's gonna kinda go like that. Just some fun, wacky designs, you know? Something a little different. I'm going to thicken it up just a little bit. Just so it doesn't stand out too much from that. Normally I like to uh, make it thick and thin to stand out. But right now I kind of want it all to look the same. Okay. So let's do his eyeballs. Like that. Uh, another one. Like that. And let's add his little pupils off like that and then the smile pretty simple it's got kind of corners there so uh, I just want to put in a few little things okay so I'm just gonna kind of do like this to add like uh, his neck little features and so let's go ahead and do the rings around his neck so I'm gonna come up to like this to give me edges and add like that and they're pretty thick, so I think what I'm going to do is add the second one like this. And then I'm going to come back with the sharp sharpie and add a thin line in between. Because this sharpie is so thick that it would kind of disappear. So I'm just going to do a line like that in between to designate that there are two. Okay. So same thing, uh, we're going to do the same thing for his arms. He's got two of them over here, too, so I'm just going to kind of do like that. Keep it super thin. thin. I was going to say super tight and thin, but it came out super thin. So uh, we'll do a little one here that you can barely see, so I don't have to worry about the middle one there. But here again, I'm just going to do that middle line just to kind of accent, 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 accent the, uh, the hoses, right? And uh, I got him in kind of a fun pose, so I'm going to draw his body out like this, out to his belly, like that. And I've got to do the same thing here, but i got to draw that belly that he has. 
and then I can do the uh, the hoses to this. And these are a little bit fatter, so I'll go ahead and draw them both uh, for his his waistline. Okay, and let's see. I'm gonna do like that because he's got a huge belly, but I kind of didn't draw it like that. I kind of left it thinner just so we can get that wavy look, you know. So let's do his arms. Um, again, there's a lot of color, but not a lot of detail. So what I'm going to do is he's got uh, some stitching, like right around here, that I'm going to accent, okay? It's not really in there, but this is our drawing, so we can do whatever we want to do. So I'm going to do like this. I'm going to come in just a little bit, just a hair, okay? And then draw the rest of his arm like this. See how it kind of gave it a just a tiny, the tiniest of little notches there? I'll show you why I did that in a second. Okay, and there's a little uh, um, heat, cuff of his shirt, I guess is what that is, right? And he's got, uh, he's got a little spigot, is what it's called, a valve, is what it is. I'm going to draw like this. I'm going to use the tinier Sharpie for this, just because it's so small. I don't want to leave this detail, but the reason I did this is, watch this, I'm going to do a patch like that, or I guess that's where it's attached, right? And so I'm going to take that line and connect it right there. So it kind of stands out a little bit how it's, now it looks like two pieces of material, see? Like it was patched together. And so he's got a couple more on his body. Um, I'll go ahead and do that now since you can see it. Um, I'm going to draw one here. Normally I do this with color. But since there's not much to draw on him, I'm going to go ahead and do that with you now. That'll give you something to draw. Okay, this is just going to kind of disappear over here. Okay, let's get back to the big Sharpie. So the hand, I'm just going to do more, more wacky, wavy, uh, um, fun, basically, I guess is the word I'm looking for. He's got gloves, even though they're... they're uh, um, inflatable stuff, so I kind of drew it like that because that's the, the main part of your hand right there. Then the fingers I'm going to add on to this. And so I'm just going to do something simple like this. Really, really easy. And there you go. His, his fingers back behind. You can't see them where they're attached, so you can get away with just drawing just the tips, and it still looks good. Same thing over here. Let's do this one, but it's going to be a little bit lower. So I'm just going to draw something like this. And it's, it's uh, again, another um, seal right there, but we don't have to worry about it because it's not viewed. He does have another one like this. And it's back behind his body the way I have it drawn, so it's kind of a, a little bit of fun, you know? There, see, didn't that look wacky and wavy and silly? All right, so we'll draw the cuff there, and then same thing. We're going to draw just the the glove, basically, and then add on to that. And so I'm just going to kind of do something like this, and even the fingers I'm doing like a little wacky wavy, right? There, see, all kinds of silly. So now we just got to draw the rest of his body, his legs and whatnot, you know. So um, let's draw. We're going to come down like this, like for his underwear. I'm going to come down a little bit and I'm going to connect it. And then I'm going to draw this leg because it's in front of this one. And again, we're just going to kind of draw pretty simple shapes because he uh, has uh, some seams. But uh, again, just a basic body. Not a lot of uh, weapons or things like that that they normally have onto, them, onto uh, Fortnite characters. Okay, and since that's drawn, now I can draw this leg. And let's go ahead and do it. So we uh, are all um, together in the same spot. All right. And again, he's got a seam over here. So I'm going to draw. I'm drawing the patches or the connecting spots first. That way I know where to connect it. But I also have it sketched out so I know where to connect it to. So that's why I just have them floating right there. Super simple, super easy. Okay, so let's draw his shin guards. Uh, like, like every... Well, not every, but like most Fortnite characters, he's got shin guards uh, to protect his his uh, 
um, inflatable shins, I guess, you know? So we'll connect it there. And I can go ahead and draw the back of it there, the back of his leg, back behind that shin guard, right? And this one has straps in front of it, so I'm going to draw like this, because I know where it's going to be from my sketch. Okay, and one more connected like that. Okay, so now I can draw the rest of it. And so it's going to be like this. I'm going to kind of come in from where I put my little marks and go up in between them. And I did that like that so I could draw it behind it. See, it doesn't cut through. So let's see, that is connected. So I'm going to come out like this, come in and draw his boots. Okay, same thing, draw his boots. And like always, they have the, the lace protectors, but they're, they're, uh, um, inflatable material too so it's kind of fun to draw some silly stuff and so I kind of draw them at the same time there's the front toe there's the heel to the front toe and I can draw that top of the foot down and let's give them the the big treads like all the Fortnite characters have and sorry if this is falling off but it's okay you get the idea Okay, and so now I'm going to take care of the rest with color. Uh, oh, you know what? There is a couple more. There are a couple more little uh, valve um, spigots that I'm going to draw right here real quick. And there's another one back behind it, but you can't quite see it. Um, it's like back here someplace. So we'll just do like that. Just for sake of accuracy, right? Okay, so I'll take care of the rest with color. So for now, that is Bendy. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.